This lesson is on equivalent ratios. Equivalent ratios, because they can be written in fraction form, are the same as equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions can be created by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same value. For example, if we take 6 over 4 and multiply the numerator and denominator by 3, we get 18 over 12. So 6 over 4 and 18 over 12 are equivalent fractions. They are the same value. In ratio form, they can be created by multiplying or dividing the left and right side of the ratio by the same value. In this case, we'll take the ratio 12 to 16 and divide the left side and right side by 4 to come up with the ratio 3 to 4. So 12 to 16 is the same as the ratio 3 to 4. These are equivalent ratios. Let's create three equivalent ratios for 2 to 8, one of which must be the ratio in simplest form. Simplest form means you can no longer divide the left and right side of the ratio by a whole number without getting a decimal answer. The same thing as reducing fractions to simplest form. So we'll start with 2 to 8, find a factor that divides into both 2 and 8, and that will give us the ratio in simplest form, 1 to 4. So 1 to 4 is an equivalent ratio for 2 to 8. Now if we take that reduced ratio, 1 to 4, multiply both sides by 3, we can get another equivalent ratio. We would get 3 to 12. 3 to 12 would be the same as 2 to 8, would be the same as 1 to 4. And we can continue this process on for as long as we want. We could multiply the left and right side by 4 and come up with a ratio of 4 to 16. All of these ratios are equivalent. Now let's do a problem with equivalent ratios. The ratio of boys to girls in an advanced math class is 2 to 5. If the class has a total of 35 students, how many are girls? One way to solve the problem is just to make equivalent ratios by multiplying each side by a constant. Continue this process until the left and right side total 35. So we'll start with our ratio of boys to girls, 2 to 5, which would give us a total of 7. Remember, we're looking for a total of 35. So we'll start by making an equivalent ratio, multiplying the left and right side by 2. So this would be an equivalent ratio, 4 to 10, giving us a new total of 14. So we'd carry on with this process. We'd start with 2 to 5 again. This time, let's multiply by 3, and we'd come up with an equivalent ratio of 6 to 15, giving us a total of 21. We would carry this process on. Next time, we'd multiply by 4, 5, etc., until we got a total of 35. A more direct way to solve this question is to start with our total of 7 and ask ourselves what do we need to multiply 7 by to get 35. Then multiply this value to the left and right side of our ratio. Once again we'll start with our ratio of boys to girls 2 to 5 giving us a total of 7. Now we'll jump right to what we want, a total of 35. What do we need to multiply 7 by to get 35? So we'll do that to both the left and right side of our ratio. In this case we need to multiply both the left and right side by 5, giving us an equivalent ratio of 10 boys to 25 girls. And you see that adds up nicely to 35. So our answer is there are 25 girls in the advanced math class.